What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to hook up a Canon Pro 100 printer wirelessly without hopefully having to hook the printer up to your computer with a cable. Which unless you have a laptop is kind of a pain in the ass because the cable that Canon gives you is super short. So let's get to it real quick. Alright, so I'm going to skip all the, the BS with unboxing the printer, putting in the cartridges, uh, getting all the plastic and tape off and all that nonsense because there's many, many videos already or just tutorials online about how to do that. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You pop cartridges in and take tape off. It's pretty simple. But what you're going to do is once you get all this set up and you're ready to connect it and you don't have a real simple way to get this gigantic bastard next to your computer, close enough to use this cord, which is maybe three feet long, which where my computer's at makes that super difficult. What we're gonna do is try to hook this up wirelessly. When I unboxed this thing and hooked it up, it took me probably an hour and a half to two hours before I had everything up and running and printed my first picture. Might have taken a little longer than that. Now, very important, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your router that you're using for Wi-Fi in your home has the WPS button on it. I believe that's what it's called. It's a little thing where you do a secure network connection with devices in your house, whatnot. But as long as you have that, this should work. So what you're gonna do is once you get your printer hooked up, you get it all powered on, you got this Bluetooth button right here, you're gonna push and hold that button down until it flashes one time. And that's gonna put the printer in discovery mode. Then you're gonna come over to your router. This is my R6400, it's a Netgear Nighthawk. Not all these are gonna be the same, but I have a WPS button right here on the end. I can't remember if I had to push it or hold it, just look up the directions on your uh, router and you should be able to find that. But once your printer's in discovery mode, you're gonna find that button on your router, you're gonna push it or hold it according to your directions for your uh, unit and that should establish a connection with your network where your printer will be connected to the network. So that's step one. Hopefully step one worked. All right, so hopefully my step one worked. You were able to get your uh, printer to connect to your network and should be just a matter of installing it on your computer now. So what you wanna do is you're gonna to come to your start menu. This is on Windows 10, the latest update. Uh, you're gonna hit the start menu, settings. You're gonna to go to devices, printers and scanners. And you're going to hit add a printer or scanner. Now, I'm not going to click it now because it's going to take me back through this. But when it pops up, it should scan and any network printer should show up. And you should see Canon Pro 100. Go ahead and click it. Let Windows install it and do its thing. And once you do that, you're going to go over to your browser. And you can type in Canon Pro 100 printer drivers. And one of the first few links should bring you to the official drivers and downloads section and click on that you'll come down now you're gonna notice you have two drivers here the XPS driver if you try to install this first you're gonna get errors on it and your computer and your printer are not gonna like you at least in my experience this probably cost me 45 minutes to an hour of frustration when I was trying to install it the first time so what you wanna do is you wanna install the regular driver first this is the standard driver for the Pro 100 once you go through that setup and you have it installed and your drivers are installed, then you can come back and add the XPS driver and install that. From what I've read, the XPS driver will give you higher quality prints somehow, some way. I don't have an expert eye on this, so what I've printed with the regular driver and the XPS driver, it doesn't look like there's a difference at all to me. I'm sure it's subtle. I'm sure somebody that knows what they're looking at can see something, but in my experience, it didn't look that much difference so i would do it just to be cool to be honest with you so i can say hey i got the pro 100 and i got that xps driver what so once you have these installed and you're ready to print you should be good to go on printing from windows or lightroom now if you print from lightroom i'm still learning that so i'm not going to be much help at it it's it's a lot more detailed going into the printer settings and all that to uh get margins to get full bleed prints and all that good stuff, borderless prints. But uh, that can all be addressed in another video. All right, so with any luck, hopefully 
the steps that I've given you, if they were clear at all, I know I'm not the best at explaining things, but if they did help you get your printer set up, connected to your network, and then get the printer installed, install the primary driver for the printer, then the XPS driver for your printer, you should be good to go where you can start tinkering with print settings. I don't know if you're going to be printing from Windows Print Dialogs or Lightroom. Lightroom, I'm still trying to figure out. It's it's really detailed how you have to get in and set the printer up and all that stuff. And that, that's a whole other video. And there's probably already videos on it. But anyways, I hope this helped. And uh, if you have any questions about it or you get stuck, you can hit me up on Twitter, at Rad Adams, which is not my real name. It's just some dumb shit that I came up with when I was drinking too much one night and I decided hell with it I'm gonna stick with it so anyways Twitter at Rad Adams and you can DM me send me any questions you have and I'm gonna try to help you out until next time hope y'all have a wonderful day take it easy